Okay, hello, this is Dr. Janes, and today I'm going to talk about replacing um, the cam camshaft uh, position sensor, and I have one here for the uh, Ford Explorer. And uh, this thing has been uh, having a problem where it's been intermittently start not starting. And uh, recently I haven't started it for a couple weeks, and um, now it seems like uh, that it's not starting at all. I've taken it into the Ford dealer, and they've said they are, well, they're going to fix it, they're going to fix it. And uh, they just charged me a bunch of money, and they've never fixed it. They couldn't figure out what's going on. So uh, we're going to try to change this sensor and see if this fixes the problem. Okay. Take a look here. Let's take it out of the bag. Okay, here's our sensor. Okay, so I believe this is some kind of, uh, probably some kind of magnetic sensor in there. It's got a little plug on the back. And so we'll see if we can uh, try to uh, figure out how to take the old sensor off and get this one on. Okay. And uh, I think where the sensor is, let's, let's take a look down here. Okay, here's the front of the Ford Explorer. We're going to go down under the front of it, under license plate, and look up inside of here. There's the crankshaft, and there's our, our sensor right up there. Okay, this is a 2002 Ford Explorer. And I started to clear off one of the nuts, and we'll see if we can find a, a socket that can fit on that guy. Okay, so here's our sensor, and uh, try the. Let's see. Get up there to. Is one of the bolts looks like it's right there. Looks like the other one's going to be on the back side. And this thing couldn't be any more dirty. It's just caked with oil and dirt. And uh, okay, so I think we cleaned that one away. And I think the other one you're going to have to come up behind this belt up here. Looks like it's not very convenient to get at. We'll see if we can get the first one off, maybe. God, just everything's all disgusting under here. Okay. Okay. So I just started guessing, and it looks like this is a 5 16 ratchet. Let's see if I can see my hand up there. I kind of clean off the, the bolt. And it looks like it will fit over that guy. And I'm going to have to probably put the camera down to try to get this guy off of there. Okay. Okay. Okay, so looks like I'm able to turn this screw now. Okay. Looks like it's coming off. You can see in there, okay. Uh, this is the screw on the bottom, so it's right, right here, and it's turning finger loose. And I'll try to get that one out, and then try to screw, unscrew the one on top if I can find it. I'm gonna have to feel around up there, and then we'll unplug the sensor and hopefully get it out of there. Okay. Okay. Here's the first bolt we got out of there. Okay. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, so here's the the plug. And I found out there's like a, a metal thing you can kind of push down here, like that. I don't know if you can see that very well. Push that down and then you can pull the plug off. And here we have our plug. Okay. So now we've got the sensor unplugged. And uh, we just got to find the last screw up there and then we'll be able to pull the sensor out. Okay. okay. I got the uh, ratchet up on the upper bolt and that's what it looks like when it's on it. And I can't hold it and the camera and the light at the same time, but it was not easy and I broke it free. So I'm going to try to, you have to reach around. I was reaching around the side over here and up, up there to try to see what, so I could get both hands up there and do the ratchet. That was not easy at all. But I think I can get the bolt out and get that sensor out in about a second and maybe we can put the new one in. Okay. Okay, it looks like once you get that bolt loose, you can rotate the sensor up and get to the nut right up here. That's right up in there. Uh, anyway, yeah, so you might be able to do that, get to it easier by just rotating the sensor up. We'll try that. Okay. Okay, it wasn't easy, but uh, I was finally able to ratchet this thing out of here. Uh, and here we go. There's the old sensor. Okay. And that's the bolt that was on the top. So let me get the new sensor and we'll try to stick her in. Okay. okay, so here's our brand new sensor. It looks very similar to the other one, just not quite as dirty. And so let's try the sticker back in and uh, hopefully this will fix our non starting problem. If it doesn't, we will at least uh, ruled out something. Okay. Okay, so I can see the two bolt mounts up there. There's one right there. The other one's way up there on top of that pedestal. Uh, right behind the crankshaft up there. And I'm really having troubles getting the bolt into the hole. And there's our plug, of course. we got to try this again. Okay. Okay, I was somehow able to get that top bolt on there, and I got the bottom bolt in there, and this is a lot easier to get in. The top one was really difficult. I had to use like two fingers and reach around and try to find the hole. It was really terrible. Uh, I used a trick where I flipped the sensor out of this to the side so I could reach it from this, you know, right from the bottom. And we'll get this last bolt in, and then uh, I guess uh, we'll plug our plug in, and then we'll be all good to go. There's a the plug. Get that plugged in right there, and then we'll maybe give it a test and see how it works. Okay. Okay. There we go. We got our sensor back in place. Go look at that up there. There's our sensor. And it got the screws all screwed in. And the plug plugged in. And we'll give her a shot and see what happens. Okay, here's a moment of truth. We'll see if that fixed our problem. It looks like it did not. Okay, so looks like that uh, sensor did not fix our problem. Okay, that's too bad. Anyway, this is uh, Dr. Janes, and thanks for watching.